The maximum sentence today for a man who shot a Suffolk County police officer after a traffic stop. Prosecutors say he should never be free again. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff with new information from Riverhead. My regards goes out to Mr. Officer Collins and his family. It wasn't an apology, but Sheldon Lieutenant voiced regrets before a Suffolk County judge sentenced him for shooting a police officer. I guess the situation's out of hand. I lost the battle before I even fought it. The 23 year old alleged gang member pulled over one year ago in Huntington Station, fled police, a jury ruled, because he didn't want to be found with an illegal gun, then fired four shots at the cop who tackled him. His attorney asked for murder. This lieutenant ran away and in a moment of foolishness committed a very grave act. Officer Mark Collins was struck in the neck and hip, a fraction of an inch from a vital artery. Supported by dozens of officers, he says he's back doing the job he loves. I always dreamed of being a police officer and uh, I felt that I wasn't going to let someone take that away from me. And uh, I wanted to get back to work as soon as I could and that's what I did. The sentence for his shooter, the maximum, 55 years to life. An attack on the police is an attack on all of us. The punishment must be severe. But outside court, defiant reaction from Lieutenant's wife, who claims he was framed. Sheldon Lieutenant is innocent, and we will prove that in appeal. And Sheldon Lieutenant did not have a fair trial. Everyone basically bent over backwards to ensure that all his rights were guarded and, and, and that he received a fair trial. The evidence against Mr. Lieutenant was overwhelming. Ironically, say prosecutors, Collins used a taser gun. His restraint answered with guns. Gunfire. They add the only reason the officer survived is because Lieutenant ran out of bullets. In Riverhead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.